Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, I'm happy that I can speak to this audience today. My name is Dennis van Wijngaarden and I'm a researcher at Delft University of Technology. So today I will uh, tell you about our contribution within the Safir Met project and especially I will focus on the tactical deconfliction within the bounded airspace for which we made a module for the C2C. First of all, what is the math lab of TU Delft. So the math lab is the micro air vehicle lab uh, and that's basically a laboratory uh, focused on drones. We do already research for 20 years on drones and so we really started when drones became commercially or even before. So we have a lot of experience with drones. Maybe we are one of the partners that have most of the experience operating a drone, designing new drones and looking at the future what uh, uh, to see what we can still invent for the future. So we develop advanced technologies for drones. So we don't look at how drones fly now, but we look at how will drones will fly within five, ten years, for example. So our main focus in the Safir Met project is detect and avoid, and we are one of the uh, manufacturers of a drone. So we have the AED drone, a drone carrying a defibrillator underneath, and we can bring that to a place where someone needs it. We already uh, participated in the Futura project uh, in the past. Uh, we started our research there on Detect and Avoid, and as part of Safir Met, uh, we um, basically uh, um, uh, continued our research and were able to uh, integrate the Detect and Avoid fully um, in the command and control station of Helicus. So on the picture, you see a drone flying and we can generate some kind of radar screen around this drone. And if we are facing a red area, we have to make sure that we uh, replan our flight and fly towards the green area until a conflict has been resolved. But I will show you that later. Um, another thing to notion is that basically, uh, Partners from the Futura project and the old Safir project are now working together in this Safir Met project. So we are a big group and have already some experience with each other in the past. So today, actually, we were planning to do a flight outside, but unfortunately, <coughs> uh, we didn't get our permission to fly uh, in time. So I wanted to show you something very special, but luckily, I can still explain you what we did last week at our home base at Falkenburg in the Netherlands. Um, so basically, we developed a drone, integrated it fully with the Helicus uh, command and control station. So actually, uh, this drone was controlled fully from Antwerp. I didn't have to do anything. So Antwerp uploaded the flight plan, pressed the start button of the drone, uh, did a reconfliction based on our uh, methods we integrated in their uh, control and command station and we were only looking at the drone flying fully autonomous. So our tactical, uh, the, the, the detect and avoid we developed is tactical. That means that we are only looking uh, at conflicts within 30 seconds. So um, you really have to re-upload a flight plan when the drone is already in the air. Um, it depends on traffic information, for example, from use space. So we have a traffic stream incoming and based, based on that traffic, we can avoid this traffic. Um, and it is fully automated, so the pilot doesn't have to confirm. The drone, uh, a, a new flight plan is directly uploaded to the drone from the command and control station fully automatically. Um, the avoidance, and a very important part of this avoidance algorithm that has never been done, uh, developed in the world before, is that for drones, it holds that we have to stay within a certain geo zone, a geo zone in which we have to fly. So our algorithm we developed for this project will find a solution within this geo zone and will not find a solution outside. And it's guaranteed to find one solution in there. So where are we in the project? We are one of the drone manufacturers, as you see on the left top, and we are developing a module for the command and control station, as you see on the bottom. So um, yeah, we, we play part in multiple aspects of the Safir Met project. Now I will show you some method how we uh, did our avoidance. At the left, you see the drone we are flying, for example, and there is a circle around the drone 
uh, which needs to stay clear of other traffic. The arrow to the right is our original flight plan. And at the right, you see an intruder. The red lines on the top and the bottom are basically the boundaries of our geo zone. So if we uh, perform a avoidance maneuver, we are not allowed to cross it. So what is our method doing? It recalculates a new flight plan, and it will do that <coughs> to the right in this case, because if we uh, avoid to the left, we'll go outside of the geo zone. And we fly until the position where the conflict has been resolved, and then we'll continue our original flight plan again. I'll show you some actual flight we did last week. So unfortunately, we cannot show it here, but at least we made some recordings for that. And I think it's very special uh, that we did a real avoidance maneuver in air. So we flew the, the real drone controlled here from Antwerp in the Netherlands, more than 100 kilometers away. Um, and basically, we avoided the simulated drone. But the real drone was doing the avoidance maneuver to prove that we were able to upload this flight plan in time to perform this maneuver successfully. So here you see our drone taking off from the is starting. Yeah. So here our drone is ready for the flight. It takes off, and at this stage, no intruders are detected. So we start our uh, flight plan, and at some moment, uh, we detect a conflict. It will happen in a few seconds. An unknown intruder is flying into our airspace and is not uh, avoiding us. Our drone is coming from the left, the intruder is coming from the right. At the top right, you see kind of this radar screen I was talking about. And now you see that the drone already uh, updated its flight plan. And you can also see that the flight plan upload, upload is within um, the boundaries of the geo zone. The boundaries of the geo zone are given by the, the light blue lines. So the, the drone will fly towards a single waypoint, and at that waypoint it has already been calculated that the conflict has been resolved there, and at that waypoint we'll continue our original flight plan again. So here you see that the conflict has been resolved. You can see that the, the uh, green arrow of the intruder is not uh, going into the circle of our own drone. And we can still deliver uh, the defibrillator in time uh, by efficiently avoiding in this way. And here you can see some nice video uh, that we continued our flight plan. Thank you for your attention.